Dad, how do you overcome limerence? Well, I treat limerence like an addiction and with any addiction, the number one thing is you've got to want to heal from it. Until you're ready to do that, you're not going to be able to overcome this. So you have to be in the right state of mind. I think because I treat it like an addiction, um, abstinence is crucial. It's, it's like an alcoholic who wants to carry on drinking but wants to overcome his alcoholism. It's not going to happen. So we have to break off. It's what we call going no contact. You have to break off all contact with the person that you're infatuated with, the person we call the limerent object. So you have to block them from your phone, um, your their phone number, any form of communication. And it may be that you, if you do have an ongoing or a long-term friendship with this person, that you just have to say something, although not divulging that you're infatuated or you have limerence, but just say to that person that you're dealing with some really difficult personal stuff and you need some time and space away from friendship and to heal yourself. So I think that's really important. And number three is go and find a therapist who understands limerence as well. Uh, sadly, very few therapists have even heard of the condition and many just write it off as a crush. It's not a crush. It's way worse than that. It's way more serious than that. I think people kill themselves over limerence and I think stalkers kill other people who have had limerence.